Well, in the context of a slowing economy and global uncertainty, unemployment with a three in front of it is a really remarkable outcome. Uh, we welcome the fact that now more than 700,000 jobs have been created on our watch in the last 18 months. Today, we saw 61,500 new jobs created in the month of November. 57,000 of those jobs are full-time jobs. Uh, this is a really welcome and quite remarkable outcome, uh, given all of the pressures on our economy and on our people. Uh, we welcome the fact that so many jobs were created in uh, November. Uh, as I said, more than 700,000 jobs created under the Albanese Labor government. That is far and away a record for a first-term government of any political persuasion. 700,000 more people are in work on our watch, partly as a consequence of our responsible economic management. Uh, this is an extraordinary result. We're only halfway through our term and already more jobs created than any other first-term government on record. Uh, our employment growth is faster than any major advanced economy. Australia leads the world uh, when it comes to creating jobs. Uh, we've seen in the last 18 months that our jobs growth has been faster than any major advanced economy. Now, since these monthly records were first kept in 1978, or since 1978, there have only been 21 months in that whole 45-year period where unemployment's had a three in front of it, and 18 of those have been under Prime Minister Albanese and his Labor government. Uh, so this is really quite a strong outcome, given the economic circumstances here and abroad. Uh, this is an outcome that we welcome, even as we recognise uh, that unemployment, the rate, has ticked up a little bit, uh, and even as we recognise that we still anticipate and expect in the Treasury forecast that unemployment will tick up uh, over time as the inevitable consequence of higher interest rates, uh, moderating but high inflation and all of this global uncertainty. I also wanted to point out uh, that this is a new record for labour force participation. Uh, and what makes this outcome especially welcome uh, is the fact that not only have so many new jobs been created, so many of them have been full-time, but also the participation rate is up uh, as well, uh, and that is a very welcome and very important uh, outcome. Uh, so, uh, the, put, to put this in context, as we conclude 2023, uh, we've got unemployment with a three in front of it, We've got inflation moderating. Uh, we've got wages growing again after a decade of stagnation. Uh, we've got the narrowest gender pay gap that we've ever had. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've delivered a surplus and we've got a very small deficit for this year. And so even in the midst of a slowing economy and global uncertainty, uh, we uh, approach 2024 from a position of genuine economic strength, given the conditions. Uh, and these uh, unemployment figures that we get today, whether it's participation, whether it's employment to population, whether it's the hundreds of thousands of jobs created on our watch, the amount of jobs which were full-time this month, uh, all of these things are very, very welcome developments. Uh, and it does mean that as 2023 gives way to 2024, uh, that there is a lot of resilience and a lot of strength uh, in our labour market, even as uh, it begins to soften around the edges as the consequence of the conditions that we all confront together.